Hey kids, it's Miss Diaz in Art Room 101. Remember to pause the video to work at your own pace, and most importantly, enjoy your creation. Before you begin drawing in this lesson, you're going to need to know the art vocabulary word horizon, horizon line. The horizon line is where the sky and the ground meet, or think of it as the horizon is as far as the eye can see. To create the illusion of depth in this project, the closer you get to the horizon line, you will begin to draw your objects smaller. To create the illusion of depth or space in your seascape, you will be um, creating perspective. And how you will make perspective is with the horizon line, your vanishing point or the vanishing dot, and then those converging lines or vanishing lines that looks like an X on your paper. You'll also be overlapping objects in your seascape floor. And also remember that the closer you get to that vanishing point or vanishing dot, you should be drawing objects smaller. Perspective helps us create the illusion of a three-dimensional sea world on this two-dimensional surface. To do that, you first have to draw a horizon line So the horizon line will go left to right on your paper. Then you need a vanishing point. You will draw converging lines or just think of an X or lines that intersect. Okay, and this is what's going to help us create the illusion of a 3D space. It's very important to know that the farther you are away from the vanishing point, the larger objects are, but the closer you are to the vanishing point, the smaller your objects will be. For myself, I went to the library and found lots of books about ocean life. You may wanna do that or just search on Google Images to help you find ideas on ocean life. So I draw my horizon line in the middle of my paper. I draw a vanishing point or dot in the center and I use that vanishing point or dot to draw my converging lines or in my X. So now I am beginning to add some sea life and I will draw sea life ob objects by starting with the foreground. And I will build all the way to the background making sure that the objects get smaller as I get to that vanishing point or vanishing dot. I'm also overlapping these sea life objects. So you might, you're going to need one in front of the other. And overlapping objects will also create the illusion of depth or 3D space. I'm drawing this fish larger because it's in the foreground. So it's closer to me, so it's going to look larger. You could draw a crab, you could draw a octopus, um, a big starfish in your foreground. Notice here I'm drawing some fish and I'm making the fish small near the vanishing point or vanishing dot and then you'll notice that the farther I am from that vanishing point or vanishing dot I will make the fish I will draw them a bit larger you can see here I'm drawing jellyfish the one far away from the vanishing point or vanishing dot is large and then the other two I'm making them gradually smaller the farther they are You'll need to outline your um, pencil line. So you should just see contour lines right now, no filling in space with color. It's important to use pencil first 
your overlapping objects. So there's going to be a lot of pencil line that you'll, you might need to erase. I had to erase a lot of lines that were overlapping that I wouldn't see because an object is in front of the other. So you can see better how the fish are small near the vanishing point, but larger when they get away from that vanishing point. And see how my sea life, my, it, it's overlapping. It looks like there's one object in front of the other. Again, here you could draw a fish, you could draw a crab or a big old octopus in the foreground. One more time, I'm going to show you the closer you are to that vanishing point, the farther away you are from that vanishing point the larger your object should be. And they should get smaller and smaller and smaller when you get to that vanishing point. Again, I'm close to the vanishing point or vanishing dot. Larger, far away from the vanishing point. My objects look smaller and smaller and smaller the closer I get to that vanishing point or vanishing dot. Very important to create the illusion of depth. And you want a big old something right there in the middle to show that it's near you or in the foreground. See how those fish get smaller. A big jellyfish and they keep getting smaller in size the closer I get to the vanishing point. All right, now you want to erase these helpful converging lines or vanishing lines, as I like to call them. And just go ahead and erase any pencil line that's left over. You'll want to color your sea life and your sea floor with crayon. For this step, you want to use your pencil to draw bubbles. So I'm just drawing different sizes of circles for bubbles. Draw as many as you'd like. Then you're going to see that, those little bubbles. Okay. Then you will need a white crayon. Get a white crayon. And you want to trace your pencil lines. Push down pretty hard with your white crayon. You can see I'm having to dust away um, crayon paces because I'm pushing so hard and your crayon may break and that's okay you can still use it but push down pretty good with a white crayon and you'll see why in a minute it's pretty magical And then color all your sea life and your sea floor with crayon. Okay, so after you've colored your sea life and your sea floor with the crayon, you're going to need blue watercolor. I thought it was a better idea if I dampen my um, paper with a little bit of water first, not too much, but just, a, just add a little bit of water just to get 
your paper just a little damp. And then what you can do is start adding that blue watercolor. And look at that, look at that magic happening. You can see that the wax from the white crayon and even the crayon, colorful crayon down here is um, water resistant. It's resisting that water. It's uh, waterproof, pretty magical. Looks like I have bus duty here in about five minutes. All right. Yeah, and then I just went ahead and like added a little blue on top of my crayon area just to see um, what it would look like, what would happen if I did that. And you might want to try that as well. I really had a lot of fun drawing and doing this project and I hope you do too. Have a good day.